Children from all over come to Maine to have fun at summer camp. Camps contribute $200 million to Maine every single year. But with the current COVID-19 situation, many have canceled summer sessions, while others are waiting for more specifics from the state before they make any decisions. News Center Maine's Rosin Flaherty has a story. How was that? There may be less smiles and laughs at summer camps in Maine this year. Camps are going to look different. As directors figure out how they will socially distance campers. There will be uh, fewer campers in cabins. They will not be competing with other camps. Uh, meals will need to be served differently. If they decide to welcome them at all. 20% of our camps have canceled. Ron Hall is the executive director of Maine Summer Camps, an organization representing 145 camps in the state. Many of these uh, kids have been going to camp for five, six, seven years, and it is their second home. According to Governor Janet Mills's plan, summer camps could potentially reopen in July. Her administration says specific guidelines on how camps should operate will be released sometime this month. That's pretty much as much as we've received. Camp Winona in Bridgeton is waiting for those guidelines before it makes a final decision. The director says as of right now, she is planning to open. With the understanding that at any moment, the state may release guidelines that make it impossible for us to continue moving forward. Pine Tree Camp, a camp for children and adults with disabilities, decided not to run its regular sessions. Instead, the camp is hosting virtual programs to bring activities to people's homes. We go live on Facebook and do crafts and cooking. Um, some of its pre-recorded video information on some of those different topics. And then we also do Zoom meetings uh, twice a week. We, we do one that's a campfire, a virtual campfire, and we do um, a dance party on Friday night. Meanwhile, Hull says half of the campers coming to Maine are from out of state, saying he doesn't know how the two-week self-quarantine will work, especially if camps can have no more than 50 people. A lot more questions than answers as the fate of a fun-filled summer is unknown. Roslyn Flaherty, New Center, Maine.